Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to test Recall Box on the Odroid C2. Now, Recall Box Remix has been renamed to Batocera. I guess it's some type of beetle or something like that. Maybe a beetle? Cockroach? No, it's a beetle. But um, yeah, it's been renamed. I'm not sure what the deal was with that. Totally fine with me. It's Batocera Linux. And they actually just updated the Odroid C2 on January 21st to 5.1. So this will be Recall Box 5.1. Before we get started, everybody's going to ask me what systems work on it. Well, let's check that out. Supported systems here. So we're going to be looking at the Odroid C2. We can go down the list here. Apple II does not work. Atari ST does not work. Commodore 64. Dreamcast does not work. And I'm sure everybody wants to know if GameCube works. Nope. And we will not work. But everything else does. Uh, Dreamcast is a bummer because I'm pretty sure this board would run it pretty decently. This thing has the Amlogic S905 CPU clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. It has a three core Mali 450 GPU clocked at 700 megahertz. I'm running this from a 16 gigabyte class 10 SD card. I did try to install this on an EMMC module, but I can't get it to boot. Either way, performance will not increase if you put it on a module, a little EMMC storage module. It will boot faster, but that's about it. You're not gonna get better emulation for having faster storage. Let's get right into it. I have it installed. I have a bunch of stuff already on there. We're gonna be moving to the Odroid C2 right now. So as you see, we still get the Recall Box logo. This is just RetroArch pretty much behind Emulation Station, just like RetroPie is. So I've installed a bunch of ROMs on here. PlayStation 1 runs like crap. It is not due to the hardware, but the emulator itself not being optimized for the hardware. Because if I install Android and install the PS1 emulator from the Play Store, it works at 60 FPS. I'll just show you. We'll go to Crash Bandicoot. I'm going to skip through here. So I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this sound, but it is very glitchy. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. So yeah, and it's slow. I mean, we're dipping down to, I'd say, 15 FPS, super slow jump, and it freezes up, too, every once in a while. PlayStation 1, as of right now, is unplayable on here, and it's not because of the hardware at all. So next one I want to test is FBA. Now, a lot of my MAME, FBA, and Neo Geo games are going to work within FBA, but I still have them sorted out. These are all CPS3 games. Red Earth. Let's launch that. So the sound works great in this game. And it just crashed on me. That sucks. Um, I did play this a little while earlier, and it worked fine, so... Let's try another game in here. See if this one crashes on us. I don't know if it's gonna or not. Trying to pull off that special. I played Red Earth through the first level and halfway through the second one. Didn't have any trouble with it before. I might be the ROM. So this seems to be running good. Let's move to MAME. That's odd. And there is a specific game that I wanted to try. 
Soldier Sailor Moon. Okay, so if you haven't tried this game out, you need to play it. Very fun. Get another person, another controller. You can have a blast with this game. And the music is awesome. Got the special moves going on. So it's a very repetitive beat-em-up game, like you can see. These were my favorite games back in the day, playing them in the arcade. Old X-Men 4 player, Punisher, Alien vs. Predator, just some of the best arcade games you could ever imagine. We'll go with one more special, then we'll try another emulator. Oh, and I don't have any more specials. Got a tennis racket? Either way, you need to try this game out with a friend. Neo Geo? I'll do Blazing Star. I love this, actually. Yeah, we'll do Blazing Star. And you can tell it's a Neo Geo game. It's booting up the Neo Geo BIOS here. So on the Pi, I do notice a lot of slowdown. Right now, I haven't noticed it, but we'll see when we get to this boss and he explodes, we'll really be able to tell. Now, even on the original game, I have heard rumor that it does slow down a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all, actually. On the Pi, it slows down a bunch when he smashes those rocks out of the way. And he should be going in just a second. Definitely not as much lag as the Raspberry Pi 3. So I haven't tried MSX yet. We'll try 10 Yard Fight from Japan. And it will not launch. You know what? I probably don't have the correct BIOSes. Sorry about that. So Super Nintendo is going to work great. I can guarantee you that. Let's do Earthworm Jim 2. Earthworm Jim runs good. So needless to say that Nintendo is going to run really well. I didn't add any of my own games here. These are pre-installed games. I didn't add any Game Boy Advance, but I did have some Mega Drive stuff. Now we just added a few. I'm going to try to find something that is worth playing here. One of the best games ever made, California Games.
Okay, I'm, I'm pressing buttons here. That's it. So it runs good. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. I just wanted to show you that it is up and running on the Odroid C2. Hopefully in the next week or so, another update will be released for the C2 and we'll get some better performance. I don't know, but MAME, Neo Geo, FBA, SNES, Genesis, NES, all the older emulators are gonna run great. And I'm really hoping for a PlayStation update so we can at least get decent frame rates in PlayStation. So if you guys are interested in buying an Odroid C2, I'll leave a link down below to Ameridroid. They're a US-based company that sells all kinds of single board computers. They were kind enough to send this over to review and they're pretty awesome. So go ahead and check their website out. The Odroid's like $5 more than the Raspberry Pi 3, but we do have Android, Linux, all kinds of operating systems for it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.